Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. It's just Billy here because my wife left me. Now, Courtney is gone. She she cut out. Um, she decided there was other things that were more important than sitting around making a video with me about an effing grow. I'm not sure what that would be, but you know, she didn't explain. She just said, I'm free to do what I want. So I'm going to Walmart to buy a rake. We'll see. You know, she, she may be back. She may be back later. She may she may decide not to come back. I don't know. But I would like to first thank Mr. Ken Faulkner and Dopey. Uh, those two guys have, uh, like, you know, they pointed me in the direction of F and Grow. Dopey let me know that back in the day, F and Grow was just pretty much a copy company. Now they're making their own designs. It's kind of impressed with them. I did a little bit of chopping with this thing earlier. I, it does need to be a, a, a strop back into shape or something. Uh, you know, maybe even, it may even, you know, require a stone. But I mean, when I say I was chopping, I was chopping on trees, um, uh, like uh, dead tree limbs, or, or you know, some some of them weren't dead. Some of them were still alive. They're growing in our concrete. So like, uh, we're, we've been doing some yard stuff, just trying to get everything back up to par. Regardless, the knife, dude, fourteen C twenty eight, full titanium, no mill out, no weight relief. Uh, it's got this captive pivot. Uh, it's, it's proprietary. I'm not. I don't know if it's captive or not. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't have the tool to take it apart. It's got a hole in the middle of it. See my finger going back behind the hole? It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure if this knife was a copy of something, but obviously, according to Love Them Knives, they're actually telling the truth about what kind of steel they use nowadays. This knife is like nine inches. Let me make sure that's right. Yep. Just a hair over nine inches. Let's break the scale out. You guys can see that weight better than I can. 9.3 ounces, oh my God, that's, that's a little heavier than I thought it was. I think I, I, think I said it was 8.7 earlier in the short. Um, didn't really wanna do this video. You know, like I said, I hate that I, I actually do like this knife. Uh, I do, you know, like the, the pocket clip's gotta go. You know, like, uh, we do something different. Maybe I'll just take it off and see if I can bend it. I'm not sure what kind of material it is. It's not magnetic. It could be aluminum. It's really flimsy. Very springy, you know. Um, got an over-travel stop built in. There is no blade wobble from side to side. That's one of my parameters that I've come up with that I, I like to test knives to see if they, uh, I, like, no blade wobble while it's open is definitely no, no right, but no blade wobble while it's closed and I think you're in the money, you know, for, for good quality. I mean, like, even like this cold steel Formax, you can go from one side to the other, no problem, you know, like, and we, we know this is a good knife, or I, I think it's a good knife. As for a size comparison, you know, like we're just a little bit, yeah, we're lined up, we're lined up now. So right there, right, you got, got, got your inch, you know, a little, maybe a little less than an inch, a difference in, in size. 70 bucks, dude, 70 bucks. What about the pivot to pivot? <clears throat> the blade's almost the same size, y'all. The blade, I mean, the blade may be, like, like it's extremely close to being the same size as a, as a 4Max. This is a hollow ground. Yeah, and it slices really good. Uh, I mean, you have to take my word for it. I don't have anything back here to cut up, but uh, it seems to be very well heat treated too. I mean, at least at least decently. I mean, like you know, on par with other things that are like more expensive. So like, I'm I'm impressed with the heat treat. I, I don't uh, I, I I hate to like be a a huge supporter, you know, because I don't I don't know what kind of company F and Row is, you know, like and they pay their employees well, treat their employees kind. All that stuff, I don't, you know, I, I have no idea. But as far as the knife goes, all the po politics out of it and the country of origin, it's a, it's a good knife. Like it really is. It's a it's it's a good knife. It's built really well. Um, I've been having fun with it, you know. And uh, this is one of them that I, I want to pick up because it was cheaper and it has very similar blade style, slight recurve, uh, you know, to like the Satu, and, and you know, uh, not just that one, but a few other other knives that I have. I'm 
figured if I could, uh, I learned how to sharpen this correctly, I do feel, uh, yeah, I feel something going on about right there. Def it would probably need to go back on the stone, which is perfect. That's where I need it. I need it to go back on the stone. Got a good stone wash. I don't like the big billboarding. Um, in the listing, it didn't show billboarding at all. It actually showed a little bitty symbol up here. I could, you know, like would have been really easy to deal with. It's actually kind of attractive, but um, the, uh, the the billboarding on the on the on this side is is uh, you know fairly huge. But I mean, look at the price point. The model number is EF nine hundred five. Steel is fourteen C twenty eight. We got a Sativian around here somewhere. We do. I know we do. I can't reach it. It's way over there. One second. This is that Sativian that we haven't done a video on yet, but we showed it off in a live. But you see how the style is? Or we got a, you got the model number, the ST994 above the M390. And this one, EF905 above the 14C28N. So like, I'm assuming Sativian and Effingro are probably at least OEM by the same people, and this is how they do their stuff. I'm not sure. They may be the same company. I don't know. If you know, leave that information below. We'd appreciate it. Man, it's a solid knife. You know, like, the purple back special really doesn't bother me. I kind of like it. it. Like, the, I'm not, I mean, I'm not a, a huge fan of purple, per se, but it, like, it don't look bad sandwiched between that titanium. However, it should be easily reversible. Like, you know, we, we should be able to take that color off if we so choose. The gold pocket clip doesn't bother me as much as the the purple. What I have a problem with with this pocket clip is that I don't think it's milled. You know, like they, like they went through the trouble of milling a pocket clip. And look how much spring it's got. And it sounds like a banjo, you know, like a banjo string. You know, like uh, you just sit here and play songs on it. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do with that. Other than that, man, other than the pocket clip, I've got nothing negative to say about the knife yet. You know, like, it's it's used well, especially at the price point. Uh, you're getting a lot of materials. Uh, you're getting a good quality steel. Uh, the heat treat may be questionable. We should know more about that when we run across the stone, right? You know, like, how it sharpens. Regardless, Courtney's not here today, so we get to keep the video nice and short. Y'all pray she comes back, or we'll never go live again. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.